Now to a developing story. One person is dead in Antelope, another hurt after a car crashed into a home. It happened near Don Julio and Palmerston Drive. ABC 10's Jay Kim reports from the scene where the chaos unfolded. Yeah, Chris, Laura, certainly a very chaotic scene that unfolded here on the 8500 block of Zacchaeus Way just before 10 this morning when a white Ford Expedition lost control while in reverse at a high rate of speed, crashing into this house right behind me here, killing one person who was inside. The driver behind the wheel was taken to an area hospital. No word on their condition at this time. Now an investigation by CHP is underway. The driver of the Expedition um, unintentionally uh, lost control of the vehicle. Uh, for reasons we're still determining, um, several animals were inside the house as well that have been taken care of by a neighbor. Um, the, the driver of the expedition uh, was transported to a local hospital uh, for, for minor injuries. The tragic crash comes just two days after two people died in a similar incident on Kirkton Drive in South Sacramento when the car they were in crashed into someone's front yard, hitting a tree and fence. The speed limit in residential areas is 25 miles per hour. Sergeant Jeff Carlisle with CHP's North Sacramento Division says the driver of the expedition was going well above that. The SUV also had front end damage from what CHP says was likely a previous crash, but when and where that happened is undetermined right now. So given the circumstances uh, for a lot of these collisions, uh, but absolutely given this case, the Highway Patrol has trained investigators who are going to do a full mechanical inspection. A wheelchair was found at the scene, but the victim's name and age are not being identified at this time until next of kin have been notified. CHP is determined to get answers in the coming days. A lot of these homes have video cameras, and so uh, the, the cause of the accident uh, is going to be determined. I'm confident uh, at the end of the investigation we'll have uh, a, a very good idea as to what happened and why. Just heartbreaking. Our thoughts are certainly with the family.